All right, so I just had a CT scan of my chest and while this was just minutes ago. And so I want to remember or recount everything that uh, while it's still fresh. So you go in, they did my chest, so I had to have a gown on, just, uh, it was just a shirt with no metallic anything. And you lay on this table that kind of raises up and lifts up. They put pillows under my feet and they put a needle in my arm that was an injection needle. And I've given donated blood and had phlebotomies and lab tests done. The needle that they use going in to put something in you is a lot bigger than the needle that they used to take blood out. So that was number one. That hurt like crazy. Then they injected saline into the IV line, which um, that was weird because I almost instantly tasted salt. Like she said, and we're injecting and then salt that fast from seconds or less. It was instantaneous. So anyway, then they um, attach this iodine solution. So this wasn't a radioactive contrast. This was an iodine contrast. Apparently there's different kinds. And they inject, uh, they hook you up to that IV. They run you through the machine. It's almost like a test run, I guess. Um, and the machine starts talking to you. It tells you to hold your breath and then it tells you to breathe when you can breathe. And when it says hold your breath, the table starts moving. Then, um, after the first trial run or whatever they're doing, they say, okay, we're about ready to inject the contrast. So then you have to hold your arms up and um, the table moves back into position. It injects the contrast and you feel that, I felt this really, really warm. It was almost like there was an electric blanket in my throat. Some kind of, <laughs> because it wasn't an external heat going in, it was a an internal heat. And it kind of went through my whole body. And then once it gets down to your bladder region and, and <laughs> it feels like you peed your pants. So that was weird. And then they just run you through the machine. There's this thing spinning around and, uh, and then you're done. That's it. The, the heat and the peeing pants feeling went away pretty quick. Then they take the IV out, rip that thing off. Oh, that hurt going in. It hurt going out, hurt more going in though. And, uh, one of the things that they, uh, do for you, if you ask, if you don't ask, they just give it to the doctor but they will give you a CD or an image file of your CT scan. And I'm always curious about that kind of stuff. And so I'm, I'm right next to a hospital recording this so you can hear the sirens. But anyway, they give me a copy of the CT, so I'm gonna bring that up. I'll show it off in the, in the video. Um, but then they send the results to, there's a radiologist here that was going to interpret the results and they send the results to the doctor, to your doctor. And uh, then you hear from your doctor in a day or so. So that's kind of the rundown. Um, and I was surprised in getting a CT scan that there's, uh, there's a couple options. If you go to a hospital, any hospital, they're going to charge you through the nose for a CT scan. But if you go to... Uh, a, a radiology center. Chances are it's going to be a lot cheaper. I was quoted by the hospital that it would cost my insurance $2,000. Um, and so if I was went self-pay at the hospital, they would get it down to $1,100 self-pay. That's all the discounts that they would do. By going to this radiology center, the total cost was 400 and it's like 480 dollars and so anyway that's something to keep in mind when getting a ct scan is if you just go if your doctor has you order a ct scan and if you're going to a hospital for it you're going to pay a lot more for it so look i'm in utah i went to a place called mountain medical 
and uh, they were really good, really good staff. Um, and you know, you're getting the, that's what they're doing all day long. So, anyway, that's my experience with a CT scan, and hopefully, hopefully, it's nothing. Hopefully, it's something. Well, it's definitely something, but you know, I'm not, I'm not hoping to get uh, lung cancer, have lung cancer. So, anything, any other diagnosis, I think I'll be happy <laughs> with, <laughs> relatively speaking. So, let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and answer them, I'm, and uh, answer them as best as I can from what I remember and what my experience was. Hopefully, your experience won't be bad. But that's what to expect. Oh, also, um, they they wanted me to go in fasting. Um, I asked them. I was fasting when I went in. They said yes, and that that means food and drink. I drank some water at five in the morning. I had my CT scan at about eleven o'clock. Um, but they just don't want any weird interactions with the contrast or anything going on. And she said you can just behave normally after the contrast. I can eat, drink, take whatever medicines I need to. But she said, if I want to drink a lot of water, that will help flush the contrast faster. And it's important for them to know all kinds of things. Specifically, I remember them asking if I had kidney problems, if I had diabetes, or if I was on dialysis. None of those things applied to me, but they can cause complications with the contrast. I think there's a lot of potassium the potassium iodide that I had. So just be aware of those things. But other than that, that was my experience with my CT scan. I'm glad it's over. I'm looking forward to seeing the results. Kind of nervous about the results, but I'd rather know than just live ignorantly. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that gave you some confidence, some ideas, some thoughts, and uh, even maybe save some money because this can all get very expensive and it's depressing enough. So, anyway, good luck. God bless.